You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohamed Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty, the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Royal Endurance Team Captain, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, continued today his participation in the Montalcino International Endurance Championship, qualifying to the sixth stage in a 160 kilometer race under the supervision of Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Vice President of the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser led the first five stages while the jockey, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, came in second place. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was keen on directing the jockeys before the start of the 120 kilometer race as His Highness's directives resulted in the Royal Team rider Mohammed Abdul Samad winning the 120 kilometer race after a strong competition while the jockey Yusuf Al Jabouri came in second place and the jockey Khalifa Jamal in third place. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the good results achieved in the race are an indication of the Royal Team's status in European forums, explaining that what has been achieved will be a catalyst for more accomplishments in the upcoming participation abroad. The 120-kilometer race witnessed the participation of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa and a number of riders of the royal team, in addition to jockeys from European countries. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, is keen on exerting relentless efforts and adopting initiatives in support of the sports movement in Bahrain with its various activities and types. His Highness's support comes from his deep belief in the vital role that sports play in advancing progress as it is one of the tributaries of the national economy to achieve the goals of Bahrain Vision 2030. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the royal support which enabled the implementation of projects that contributed to the development of sports and enhancing the performance of clubs and national teams as well as earned Bahrain landmark achievements.
Representative Council Speaker and Chairman of the Arab Interparliamentary Union, Fawzia Zainal, affirmed that Bahrain, throughout its history, has placed at the forefront of its interests the support of the just causes of the Arab nation, foremost of which is the issue of Palestine, which was also stressed in the royal speeches of His Majesty the King, noting the firm stance of the kingdom on the Palestinian issue. During the opening of the 33rd Conference of the Arab Interparliamentary Union, which was launched in the Egyptian capital, Cairo, under the title Al-Aqsa Mosque and All Islamic and Christian Holy Sites Are First Priority, Zainal noted that the vital interest of the legislative authority to translate the royal visions that, keen, that are keen on establishing a permanent qualitative parliamentary committee to support the Palestinian people. The speaker also stressed that Bahrain believes that consolidating the pillars of a comprehensive and just peace in the region depends on activating the Arab Peace Initiative regarding the establishment of an independent Palestinian state and the need to support it by all means. She also pointed out the importance of holding the conference in light of the exceptional circumstances and the great challenges that aim at harming the stability of a number of Arab countries and their people's interests and capabilities. She added that the challenges the region is currently facing require mobilizing determination, standing together in order to overcome them in addition to working together to create a better future for all. The Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council, the SJC, and President of the Court of Cassation, Chancellor Abdullah bin Hassan al buainin has attended the Diamond Jubilee celebrations of Egypt State Council under the patronage of President Abdel Fattah Hassisi. al buainin extended sincere congratulations to Egypt on the 75th anniversary of its State Council, noting that the deep-rooted Bahraini-Egyptian relations are based on a strategic partnership in various fields, especially in the judicial field. He expressed the Supreme Judicial Council's keenness to enhance judicial cooperation between the two brotherly countries, he indicated that the Egyptian State Council is a pioneer in the administrative judiciary in the Arab world and is keen to advance joint action among Arab countries to transfer experiences and expertise in the judicial field. Sure Council Secretary General Councillor Osama Ahmed Al Asfour affirmed that the Council's General Secretariat harnessed all its capabilities during the fifth legislative term in order to provide the highest levels of support and assistance to the members of the Council in a way that contributes to the full performance of their national and legislative role. The Secretary General of the Sure Council noted that the General Secretariat supported the Council in holding about 677 sessions and meetings during the fifth legislative term according to the highest standards of quality and efficiency. He also affirmed that the General Secretariat has used the latest technical systems to ensure the continuity of legislative work within the national efforts to combat the spread of the coronavirus is that it has provided the services for the holding of about 399 sessions and meetings remotely and implementation of the directives of the chairman of the council, Mr. Ali bin Saleh al -Saleh. The Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, in cooperation with the Yatim Shopping Mall and the Investment and Technology Promotion Office, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, launched the Youth Entrepreneurship and Innovation Competition. The competition is considered one of the programs offered by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to enrich the Bahraini youth year 2022 as it aims at motivating young Bahraini entrepreneurial talents in various sectors and providing resources for growth and business development. It also highlights societal and strategic support for youth in addition to private and public partnerships to have a positive impact impact and build an effective entrepreneurship system. The program includes several stages, including the selection of innovative projects, an intensive training program, as well as the selection of the best project plan. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Abdurrahman al Asumi, affirmed that the pioneering and advanced Bahraini experience in the field of achieving prompt justice comes in implementation of the vision of His Majesty the King regarding the development of the judicial system and the necessity of keeping pace with the developments of times. Al Asumi referred to the expansion of Bahrain and the application of digital transformation mechanisms and the provision of electronic services to the courts from filing cases to implementing judgments, as well as applying the experience of electronic litigation and the formation of a committee to unify the judicial principles principles of the judiciary. He also commended the tireless efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in enhancing the efficiency of the judicial system to ensure prompt justice and the consolidation of the rule of law among individuals, which made the justice system in the kingdom an Arab regional and global model. al Asumi was speaking during the inauguration of the Arab Parliament's International Legal Forum on Prompt Justice Between Reality and Hope, where he stressed that achieving justice on the ground requires flexible and simple rules in organizing litigation procedures, as well as a need to benefit from digital transformations in the field of information technology for the service of digital justice. Bahrain's ambassador to the Kingdom of Belgium, Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jabra Dostari, participated in the meeting of the ambassadors of the GCC countries with the delegation concerned with relations with the Arabian Peninsula in the European Parliament. The delegation was chaired by Dr. Hannah Newman, 
and included Vice Chairperson Mark Tarbella and the Deputy Managing Director for Middle East and North Africa, the European External Action Service of European Union, Carl Halligart. The meeting discussed ways of prompting or rather promoting GCC European partnership in the light of current developments and the draft of the Joint Declaration of the European Parliament and the Council of the European Union on the Strategic Partnership with the Gulf. This came during a work lunch hosted by the Ambassador of the Kingdom to Saudi Arabia, President of the current session of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Saad bin Mohammed Al Arifi. The spokesman for the European External Action Service in Brussels, Peter Stano, stressed that the aim of presenting the working paper on cooperation with the Gulf Cooperation Council countries is to establish a strategic partnership between the European Union and the GCC. The European official explained during the daily press briefing of the European Commission that this cooperation comes among other factors in view of the current geopolitical developments, adding that the EU is stronger with partners and together represents 20% of the global economy and half of foreign direct investments. He also noted that there are other areas or common areas such as climate, green transformation and energy included in the strategic partnership. Meanwhile, the GCC Secretary General Dr. Nayef Falah Mbarak welcomed the announcement by the High Representative of the European Union in Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Joseph Parel, of the adoption of the Joint Working Paper of the European Parliament and the European Commission on the Strategic Partnership with the Gulf with the aim of broadening and deepening cooperation with the European Union and the Gulf Cooperation Council.